Cubs are back in front. And whenever you're just sitting around at your house, you're just squeezing. As long as you can, just squeeze, 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 squeeze. Line drive off the glove of Lopez and into center field. Urshela comes through again. Uh, I've never been like the guy that's like the first one on the field, last one off. I think that gets a little bit over talked about. Buzz, Josh, radio. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah. That's, that's right. Throw it up. Throw hey. it up. We're here. We're live. Yeah, Ooh. that's right. We are here. We are live. We are live. Oh, boy. I was peeking there, which I don't like to do, but I was doing that. We are live. And in charge, in mm -hmm. the studios, multiple mm -hmm. studios tonight, because we are doing everything remote, my name oh, yeah. on this wonderful podcast, you could call it a sports podcast, if you will, is Fuzzy. That's my name. We have a Hest all the way up in Mankato, oh, Minnesota. I'm in Mankato. That's, what's is your name? Me? That's when, yeah, that's when we say your name. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Jamez. Hey, how, how are you? We have Jamez. Hello. And then all the way up north in Minnesota, we have, that's when you Smart say, Andy. Smart Andy. It's smart Andy. Yep. Smart Andy's here, everyone. Um, our friend uh, uh, in Hest, Mr. C-Dubs, is once again on load management uh as as we all know what load management is uh so we will so we so we brought in what i i'm not aware what what is load management oh smart andy i thought he was gonna be here tonight how are you so Actually. smart and not know that load management that's what i was gonna what? ask too but we're not going to make types uh uh there are gaps you know okay okay i get it oh I get it. oh are you smart, Andy? Because if you don't know, you ask questions. Yeah. See, that's next time I'll know. Okay, so okay, so load management is when you have one of those really, 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 really good players like, um, like LeBron James. Like, no, no, no. Oh, oh, like no. LeBron like, James uh, does not do load management. No. Uh. He, he wanted to make sure that everybody knows that he doesn't do load management. But lo what load management is, is Byron that when Buxton. He, yeah, Byron Buxton is a good example. He, mm -hmm. when he's, mm -hmm. when he's taking time off, when he's not hurt, he's not hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. That was weird. I, I had an echo. I, like Byron Buxton not hurt was so important that it echoed. It was great. Yeah. I think like a, the door to your cave swung open there. <laughs> pretty much uh so yeah somebody like byron buxton will go on load management does that make sense no i didn't even so explain what it is c dubs is that good c dubs is that he, is, good. he deserves it so what, what what they do is that they take some time off to uh, uh give them some time to recuperate between games as in, you know, like they'll take most likely will take games off that don't matter, or you know, like games that uh, is against a team wow. that they know that they're just going to kick the shit out of them. Like, like if if LeBron James did load management back in the day when they would play the Timberwolves, he wouldn't play right because he's saving himself for future games for the playoffs. Uh, Jeez, what, what I thought we had a right? pretty great show tonight. We do. Well, we do. Yeah. Oh, it's just that c -dubs is on load management. And We're so going to we... kick the shit yeah. out of this show. That's what you're saying. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, show, this show's a walk in the park, if you will. If you will. And that's why a we brought... A can of corn. And that's why we brought you in. We didn't bring you in because we knew that we could play without c -dubs, and then we just brought somebody in off the bench to, to play. No, you are important as well, yeah, Splinter. Don't... don't... Don't put yourself you down. You know here. the big thing. The big thing that comes out uh, when you have players that need to do the load management is uh, your depth chart. The depth chart. We do so, need a depth so, chart. I'm, like I'm that, happy yeah. to be you on know? the chart. You are. You yeah, are in the you're, depth you're, charts. Yeah. Good. And it's been a big reason 
why some baseball is is awesome in Minnesota, which we'll talk about. There's some awesome things. I mean, we'll talk about some. We'll we'll get to the yeah. We'll we'll get to the uh, we'll get to the sports at some point. We're just still. What are we doing? We're still in the intro here. We were talking about. I was explaining to Smart Andy what load management was, uh, and why we brought why we brought him in as a hest because C Dubs is currently on load management and. Uh, Smart Andy asked what load management was, and so then I explained it, and then now we are talking about how are we doing? Andy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's Memorial Day weekend. It doesn't even feel like a Monday. Oh, yeah, it is Monday. Uh, wh- what did you do this last, uh, what did you do for Memorial Day? Oh, we got out Thursday night. Uh, we got our pop-up camper out for the first time. Okay. It was beautiful. Well, Woke cool. up to the birds. Oh, boy. You played on a water table, if you will? Like, like, right? No, no, we didn't play any water table. But we we did order a fish table for our camping. What's a fish like, table? A fish table is like a little, it's like a, it's like a folding table, but it has a sink, like a very narrow, shallow sink and a sink hookup and also a sprayer, and you hook that up to the camp water, and then you can do your cooking outside, your little prep work there. Uh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, you could also like use a sprayer to clean off children's we... feet and filthy hands before they go inside. Yeah, that sounds great. James, how was your week? How, how, how have you been? What's going on? Oh, man. Well, uh, I've, I've been on quarantine because yeah, right. I... Uh, yes, unfortunately had an exposure that, that, uh, set in. So, uh, after a couple, a couple days of symptoms, it's just been, uh, sitting at home, yeah. being quarantined. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you wanted to talk about that, but. Watching some baseball. Yeah. Uh, not, not feeling too sick. Oh, no. And then the most, uh, important thing is that you put yourself in quarantine. As soon as you oh, found no. out, and made sure you didn't spread it to other people. Uh, so it, it, which brings me to the point of like everyone, uh, it is going around again. It seems like it's going to be going around again quite often for a, quite a while. So if you feel sick, make sure to test yourself and quarantine yourself. If you are positive, wear those masks. You know, in in the publics. Um. Because it seemed to work quite a bit, but it yeah. is going around. It's it's cooler not to catch it. So I mean, you don't want it. I, I'd recommend against it. You don't want it. Puts you out. Yeah, of not fun to tell people either. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, but no, I mean, apart from that, the the week's been mostly relaxing. That's that's good. Good. Yeah. Got some gaming in, I'm sure. Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Tried my hand at another uh, melee online bracket. Oh yeah, how did that go? Oh, uh, not good. <laughs> I actually got DQ'd for internet issues. Well, that's not your fault. It was internet issues. It was, we we had yeah. a we had a storm going through when you when you did it, and the that storm probably caused some problems, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just that's not your fault. It gave me gave me the rough luck, but uh, you know I'll, I'll keep looking for those brackets and uh, keep doing my best. Yeah. And and looking forward to getting off of quarantine and uh, getting some negative tests so that I can hang out with my family again. Yeah, that'd be uh, nice. It'll be cool. It'll be cool. Looking forward to that for sure. And this is when C Dubs usually asks, "Hey, Fuzzy, how?" how oh are you yeah. Oh jeez. He, he texted me. Look. Did um. Say. Did he? You really? know what? I know. What? I. I What's going um, on? What are you doing, Fuzzy? What am I doing? I'm I'm running. What are you? I'm running. How are you doing? I'm running. Oh, that was Fuzzy. Yeah, sorry, I got got screwed up. Did he really text you right now? No, my my phone's on airplane mode. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, how am I doing? Oh, I'm. Uh, you know, I've I've been I've been all right. Uh, after being exposed to the COVID uh last week. Um, luckily, well, I don't think it, it, any, there's luck to do with, maybe there's a little bit of luck to do with that. I don't know, but I didn't catch it, which, uh, made me very happy. 
Uh, and then, you know, I just did, a, while I wasn't uh, infected with the bid, I, I worked a lot and did a lot of fuzzy things and stuff. Did you I work think. on your garden? Yeah, a little bit, I think. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't remember. Dude, I want to I wanna describe something that's cool about that. What's up? Because I don't know. I don't know if we really described this. So, like, you have your two, your two little plots, I guess, uh, with a pathway in between. Have I ever talked right? about my garden in this podcast? I mean, it, it, it's not. It's not a. I don't know if it's a gardening podcast, but we'll talk about it. Go ahead. it. Go, go ahead. Go. Go ahead. Garden for sport. Can you garden for sport? Well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, Shaq might have so, something to say about that. Um. But go ahead, James. Describe my garden. But you got these two plots, uh, you know, decent size. Look like a. I compare it to like a child's sandbox, uh, two rectangles next to each other with this path in between. And uh, what I what I liked when I saw it was the you had like lattice fencing kind of growing up, or or put, uh on the inside of both these plots so that you have vining plants that can grow up these lattices. And then at the top, mm-hmm. you have it connected with some lights there. And it makes just this beautiful little walkway that, uh, you, you could, you could, uh, you could get married there. It looks you so get married enchanting. there. Yeah. It's somebody, so somebody asked me if I was going to get somebody married there. Somebody asked me that actually. And I said, yeah. no, I don't think so. But and not yet. It, it could be. It could be a good way to, for me to make some well, money. Make a lot of money doing. You know, that's like, like a two thousand yeah. dollar gig there. You know, I don't really believe in the gods and the shit. But like, if you're gonna give me some money to use my backyard for your wedding, like, I don't really it, want. It's that. enchanting. I'm saying it, it is enchanting. First off, Thank it's you. so enchanting. Thank you. I, I, you should. You should make a Pinterest. Maybe I should yeah. make a Pinterest to make money that way. Oh man, uh, you know one way that I'm not making money is by putting ads in Fuzz Jock Radio or on Fuzz Talk Radio uh, because I don't like ads. And if and then if I want some money, I try to make stuff from my own bare hands or through my own ideas or you know creatively or something i don't know what i'm trying to say is that if you want to support fuzz talk radio and fuzz jock radio or any of the other shows that are on fuzz talk go to fuzztalkshop.com and buy a t-shirt and support that way if you don't want to buy a t-shirt and support that way that's fine um so then this is fine that's when we go it's just cool then we do Baseball a different thing. is fun again in Minnesota. Is that a good transition, guys? I think that was a really good. That was solid. Is that solid? Frame perfect. I got kind of embarrassed when I was doing an ad, when I was saying I wasn't doing an ad. Baseball no. is kind of no, fun. It's all right kind of fun in Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, it's all right. Uh, we've been downs. on a losing streak against the Royals, which we should have won. We, we should have swept them. But we won one game out of that series. And now we are playing the Detroit Tigers, who we should absolutely be kicking their shit out of them in the first game. We uh, Today, we lost two. What there, do you think I of mean, that? It's you three still out have four, your moments. Right? Yeah. Good moments it's don't result in wins. We, got, I know, we need I know, the I W's, know. not the L's, guys. Come on. Like uh, what we've seen is a lot of we've seen the bats come alive a lot though. I mean they're they're getting hits. These aren't you know pitching is coming down to earth. I think is is a big thing about it. And and there's been injuries. So yeah, there has been a lot of COVID injury. Uh, I mean uh, injuries, and then also what I was kind of alluding to once again the. Uh, I don't want this, this to more, be a COVID There are more podcast. COVID uh, positive tests amongst oh, the twins. And no. this <laughs> is, is is definitely, I mean, man, I don't want to be talking about this. I don't want, when, to, be, I don't want this when, to be a COVID, COVID podcast <laughs> again. I, I mean, can't wait till they go to Toronto and they have to put guys on the list out of nowhere um, just because they can't go to Toronto. Oh, because of the, yeah, because of the Canadian are, laws? 
uh, with COVID. Yeah. Yep. They have to be vaccinated to go to Toronto. And there are a handful of our team that are not vaccinated. Oh, really? Oh, so and will like, not be like traveling that. to Toronto. Really? They're not saying who they are, but they're going to show up on the injured list. Yep. The day we leave for, for Toronto. So what you're saying is that they're not actually infected with the COVID. That they're just on the COVID list because they aren't. aren't. They're not allowed into Canada. Yeah. But they're playing. Maybe they got DWIs or something. But they're playing Detroit right now. No, but I think they go to Toronto later this week. Yeah, they'll go or from Detroit soon. to Toronto, and yeah, we'll have some players not joining wow. them. I always thought when they were on the COVID list, it was meant that they were actually sick with COVID. It, that, that's not. Yeah, the that case. has been the case. But uh, they haven't had to go to Canada yet. Oh, yeah. Man, and so but, then. What, well, at least they have the St. Saint Paul Saints, and they'll bring back up uh, that guy that was hitting all those home runs, right? Royce Lewis. They did bring him up. Oh, he got Yeah, he hurt. got hurt again. Oh, yeah. no. I, I hope he oh, is no. coming back soon, though, because he is so good. <sighs> um, but well, we got Miranda gonna... back. Miranda was hot tonight. <laughs> yeah. Jose Please Miranda. Say... We got was him. he? And uh, uh, do you know what? Offense you know what defense? means though, because on defense, I, I I'm sorry, we can't just skip past how he was not good at first base tonight. Yeah, he did pretty much blow the game, didn't he? Yes, yes, he did. He he uh, missed a couple uh, throws to first base. Um, where, yeah. I mean. Not to fault yeah, like him, the I guy better at third for sure, but it was like one of it from what I understand is one of his first times playing first base, so that doesn't help, right? He's not a veteran of the first base, and no, no, Ken Herbeck. No, that's uh, that's what I heard. On, that's what they said on the TV today. No, he's no Kent Herbeck. Yeah. Well, Kent I, Herbeck I wasn't even got, watching. Kent Herbeck Arise, got that. Arise could probably be doing it a bit better there, but I mean, it's good to, yeah, it's good to give him the practice, I guess. I mean, it is the Detroit Tigers, so, you know, like, why not, you know, test some players out at positions that they don't normally play, right? Because yeah, and hopefully they don't get hurt doing stuff they don't normally do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, oh, boy. Uh, Twins. What's this? Okay, so we got we got notes, and... uh is this really leading no into cool the ex- things about the twins? Is this the thing leading into the experiments that the twins have been doing? I I heard that the clubhouse dynamics have dealing been dealing with experiments. Take one of those two topics and run with it. Why? I don't know. That's on the yeah. notes. Right. Oh, okay. The clubhouse so anyway, dynamic. There's been a lot of uh, national coverage about the twins being this big experiment and whether it's a big test, whether you can do a real building project in, in one year, you know, cause we, they were successful in 2020. They, was that they the blew Bomba it squad? last year. What's that? Was that the Bomba squad? The 2020? Yeah. The Bomba squad. Okay. Yep. You know, we, we blame it on the baseballs here, but, well, but the then... Bomba squad, the Bomba squad was in that year. And then, you know, last year they had a lot of struggles, I don't know. I did. I didn't watch most of last year. It was so bad. I don't know where they ended up. Quite poorly. Not good. Not good. No. No. They were. They were reaching for the bottom. Remember? Uh, they were so, like. So they. They wheel and deal. Turn around at three players. Turn around in about the last forty-eight hours of the trade deadline. End up with a whole new team. Bring in Carlos Correa on a free agent deal and spend a bunch of money on one player. And just try to tool it together, and now all of a sudden they're in first place, and everybody's like, "Well, maybe this changes how you rebuild." Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, how? Well, oh, I don't oh, think oh, anyone can do that, though. Oh well, the, um, otherwise the other other way to do it would be the way the Vikings are doing it. But I think it's only working because, like you said, they have the clubhouse that just came together and they're all getting along so well. And they're just like, we were having fun and we want to just be a Bomba squad again. No, not even be a Bomba squad. They just want to, I can't think of, there's been so few interviews or even like tweets from their players that don't mention how much fun they're having with each other and how much they like each other. 
Really? And like they hang out, they hang out, eat together, you know, and just it's it's the 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 nationally renowned clubhouse dynamic. I mean, I think that's cool. Everyone, it's like everyone knows the Minnesota clubhouse is a fun clubhouse. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I, and I'm sure Luis Arise has a lot to do with that because he's he's always joking. Yeah, he seems with like fun. Um, yeah. No, that's that's great, and they always and I don't think it's because they're always winning. It's just that they are absolutely enjoying each other by learning who each other are because they've never they've never been in the same clubhouse before, right? There's no established click. There's yeah, there's for people yeah. to try to have to get into. I and suppose. then I was thinking about that as well. There's no established past of losing. You know, the, the past couple seasons where it's like, oh, we're still doing the same thing. Sure, we brought in somebody new, but who knows if that's going to work out. Yep. It's, yeah. I think it's it's really important, though, because what we have seen is, you know, Buxton hasn't been hitting some, but some other players get hot. Gio Urshela has been just hot on the, the ball and getting the hits, getting those RBIs. And yes, yeah, do you, do you want to say? Oh, I'm just keep oh. going. Just keep going. Yeah. I, I just uh, the I I put up the I put up the the finger. Okay, so audience, what I'm doing here is I'm putting up a finger, so to uh to acknowledge to to show that I would like to th- jump in at some point here, but I don't want to interrupt. I just I, I like I, I like once you get to the, your point I'm like oh I got a point that I want to make and I'm also kind of reminding myself that I have a point that I want to make but go ahead keep going. But we've seen the clubhouse dynamic help out a lot in that these guys want to help each other out when they see mm-hmm. our teammates are you know man well, I, I well, don't you know, know if my teammates seeing the ball right or you know he hasn't been having those at bats and you know. Uh, in that dynamic, it can really fire up some of these other players. What's really nice about that is that they 100% have respect for each other's play and respect for each other's character. Like, yeah, any, they, anytime they want you... to be there for each other. Yes. It's not, these guys aren't going up being like, man, I want to be Mr. Win the Game. They're, a lot of these guys are going up to these at-bats and being like, I want to... I want to set some stuff up so that these next guys can knock in some RBIs. Yeah, and the the, the respect that I'm uh, speaking of as well is that they know that this is Byron Buxton's team. And they multiple multiple players have mentioned that that and, and then when the reporters have asked Buxton about that, he says, "No, that's not right. It's their team too." <laughs> and it's great because they all respect Buxton. And where his position is, and then also respect each other's play, and they're there for each other and have each other's back, like exactly like you're saying. It's 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 awesome. It's a yeah. it's a really cool clubhouse to be part of. It reminds me of the Bomba Squad, even though they're not the Bomba Squad. It's the what? The, it's it's the a lot goat, like the old Piranhas, the, man, where they're the just team. like knocking those singles, singles, it's, it's, singles. It's the goat team, right? They got. They got the Richie the, the Rally Goat. They got now they Richie got their the, yeah. their victory gong in the clubhouse. There's a po- the oh, yeah. There's also a possum in the uh, in the audio booth. I saw. Yeah, a, a possum, a real one. Was... No, they, they're yeah, having no, fun, it, it and was, I, it was real. Their depth is is getting put to the test, mm-hmm. and there's gonna be good days and bad days. But we got a long season, and we're still looking pretty good for playoffs. Mm-hmm. Never mind that. Doc Radio. Doc Radio. Uh, so on to Lynx news. Unfortunately, the Lynx are not doing well. Still, uh, they are. They got a second win, um, but they are they are two and seven. Saw an interview. Uh, Go ahead. I thought the Lynx were just automatically over five hundred. 
uh, winning the division. Not even over 500, over like 75%, you know? like Yeah. Like, they're supposed to just be automatic like that. But, unfortunately, this team's just not playing well. Uh, it's like just the opposite of uh, the Twins, where, like, you watch interviews with the coach, and she just seems dejected. And, and she was mentioning, you know, it's not about talent and not having the talent. It's about having miscues and missteps. And how do you tell a veteran player that they're in the wrong spot during a play? You can, she's like, you can draw up as many different plays as you want, but it doesn't matter if they're in the wrong spot. No. And it's just, just people just not paying, like, she's like, it's just people not paying attention, basically. And that's really sad. It's just a sad state of affairs. Um, it's not, it's not people being out. Like, the I, I, I dug into it. I dug into it a little bit more, guys. And this, he dug into it. Um, it's too bad. It's, it is too bad. It's hard to turn that around. And I mean, it's kind of indicative of what was going on with uh, with Minnesota sports, and they're just on the back end of it, you know, like with Wild not doing well at the end, the Timberwolves not doing well at the end, now the Lynx are just not doing well at the beginning either. At least the Twins are doing they well. Need some, they need some more looking around communicating. Looking around and communicating is exactly what needs to happen. You know? um, we Watch are, dinner, maybe. We are yeah, now. Yeah, go out to dinner together like the twins. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what. I mean, it sounds like there's not enough chemistry. That's, that's exactly what it sounds like. And going out to dinner, maybe a movie. Yeah, find some, find some like a uh, uh, fun, like team building exercises. Ooh, an escape room. Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. An escape room. Have you ever done an escape room? One time. Yeah, did you win? Oh, yeah. He's still there today. <laughs> I'm doing the podcast from there. Uh, uh, in uh, in the Brittany Griner is still uh in Russia. Uh, it just which, marked a hundred days. Yeah, it's, pa- it's past a hundred days. As a, it's not good. It's been, not been cool. in custody yeah, since February seventeenth. Yeah. I, from that article, it did appear that there's pretty regular contact. Though. Yeah, that's and which is good. It's not like there's, there's just like they don't no, know where there's, she is. There's there's people working on it, and <sighs> just uh, you know, hope that that she can get back safety, safely, soon, quickly, quickly. Um, that's some basketball. Did the oh, you know what? Oh. Our guy uh, Wiggins is yeah. doing some NBA championships That's here pretty right. soon. Uh, he's chasing a ring. Yeah, uh, if you will. His team, the Golden State Warriors. That's the right name, still. Yes. Okay, Golden yeah. State Warriors. I was, I was, wait a minute, did they it's change? Going to be the Golden State Wiggins after this year. Pretty but... much. Uh, he and his team got into the NBA Finals, or the and the final finals uh, against Boston. Mm-hmm. Is it what what city Celtics? They, yes, Boston Celtics. Yeah, yes. yep, yep. Uh, they are going to play on Tuesday, Thursday next uh, this Thursday, I think it was at eight p.m. Thursday, I believe. Yes, something like yeah. that. So make sure to tune in because um, our Wiggins is in the finals. Yeah, cheer for Wiggins. Cheer for Wiggins. And that was your Wiggins update. Yeah, okay. there we go. Yeah, uh, I can smile at that again. I love it. Here. Why are we here? Love it so much. Go, Wiggins. Should we do a different sport now? Are you ready for some football? You ready for some football? <laughs> Maybe. Are we? I don't know. No. <laughs> Not really. I mean, the U- so if we were ready for some football, I think we'd be watching and paying attention to the USFL. Did you, Splinter, did you know that that was going on right now? Yeah, Still. I did, but Still. boy, I, I know that one of the former Vikings backup quarterbacks was pretty much tearing it up. Kyle Sloter. Oh, yeah. That's <gasps> my USFL news. Oh, Ooh. nice. He's been, he's been ripping it up. What team is he on? Do you, know? Do you remember? No. No. I, do, I couldn't tell you any of the team names. <sighs> the Roughbacks. Every, every week. Name. I used to have a Saskatchewan Rough Riders mm-hmm. sweatshirt. Yeah. 
Every week I'm reminded that the USFL is going on, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to watch it this this weekend. And then I totally forget that it's a thing, which I don't know if we're ready for football. Uh, you heard Adam Thielen. Maybe Thielen's. we should watch the USFL. Uh, maybe. I want to watch the USFL one day. We should. We should get a, we should get a, a watching party going. Yeah. Uh, well, after football in the summer. <laughs> it is, <laughs> actually. That's, that's a good point. There's a lot of pads. Yeah, Corey Stringer passed away in this in this heat playing football. Remember, in Mankato. Yes, sir. I'll never forget. Yeah. Um. Um. Sorry to. That that this football. Yeah, there there was a a player, a Vikings player, uh, that just passed away as well. I just remembered as well. Yes, um, yes, he did in a car accident, I believe. Yeah. That 20 oh, no. for the Cardinals. Yep. Twenty three years old. That was rough. I did not hear that news. Uh, yeah, Jeff Gladney. Um, uh, no, oh, at tw- uh, twenty five. Sorry. Um, he was a first round pick. He was um involved in a fatal car accident just the other day, and yeah, way too young, and so. Condolences for the family and survivors, sure. and hope everyone uh, manages the best they can. That's really sad. Some good news. In, uh, in stuff that's not. That's, no, and good news. Uh, yes. Colin Kaepernick is working out oh. for the Oakland Raiders. It, it's actually going to happen? The Raiders are actually working out. The Raiders are actually working out. Do I saw that? Free agent quarterback Colin Kaepernick today, sources said, his first workout in years. And it was developing. Oh, I got to play that. Dude, song. this is this is. Oh, did you get the sound bite? The Raiders are actually working out. Free agent quarterback Colin Kaepernick today, sources said. His first workout in years. I don't think it's his first workout in years. I, I'm sure he's, he's been very, working out this whole time, right? He's probably been exercising. Like, do you think he's been actually just sitting on his ass and not working out? Like <laughs> no. How, how, no, he's been playing football. How like how does he even think he has a chance? Like, Why would they even look at him? Is, like, is their quarterback need is in that much desire that they're going to get somebody that's been just sitting on their ass eating chips this whole time? No, no. I think he's been doing football stuff the whole time, trying to get back. But it's, yeah. uh, here it says his first workout in years. So, well, like a, a workout, like official for the, workout for the first time in years. Quarterback Colin Kaepernick has a workout with a with an NFL team. Oh, with an yeah. NFL yeah. team. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, the rest of the sentence. <laughs> okay. <Got> well, <laughs> well, that's that's really cool. Um, I'm I'm excited to see. Uh, see how that works out. Uh, this is the team where the owner had been saying already and talking like, oh, Colin Kaepernick deserves to be playing football, right? Mm-hmm. That, was, that was Las Vegas Raiders' owner. Was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Pretty sure. So, Good news, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see what it might be some follow-up from that and not just a bunch of empty words from the owner before. Because, I mean, when you own the team, man, you'd probably have some power to make some things happen like this. And yeah, that's usually the way it works, right? Yeah, no, Colin Kaepernick needs to be playing some football and show everyone he's awesome still. Yeah. What so is uh, make it... slashing? Slashing is um, like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, in hockey news, uh, they still have not found uh, the Stanley Cup, so there's no Stanley Cup playoffs. That's how the that search goes, continues. Right? The search continues. Um, um, well, I, I still don't have a sounder for video games. Oh yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, the ma- uh, Major League Baseball right. 22 came out on the Switch. Oh, dude, don't tell me about it. I mean, Do you know about I'll that? I'll tell you about it. Yeah. I'll tell you about it. What's up? Is that working out for you? Yeah, it seems like a big game to to put on a small console like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I mean, if you remember, uh, we had played some Mortal Kombat before on the Switch, 
which, yeah, which was not ran fine, which ran fine and looked fucking gross, <laughs> right? Yeah, it looked gross. Yeah, yeah. This this is like that. It, it looks pretty gross, <laughs> but this is not the worst part of the game. No, my friends, there's a bigger tragedy that occurred. What's that? When I tried this game out, I played this game on the Switch and picked my favorite Minnesota Twins. Right. And I got into the ninth inning, and I go to my bullpen and get John Duran. Right. And he throws a 97-mile-per-hour fastball. 97, yeah. Get, Sounds right. Get no, that's not no. that guy. This is like that. That's six miles an hour slow. <laughs> These they get this patch going, man. Like this is literally unplayable no, game because what? What's going well, on? That's probably his. I don't know. His average fastball is a hundred. What, what a one, it? dude! One hundred one hundred one point two, I believe. Oh. Yeah, dude. And they got they got this guy's stats in the game throwing a 97 mile per hour fastball well so do you think it's a switch uh issue or do you think it's the game itself like have you played uh, it on the, the game okay i i haven't tried it on other con uh consoles or yet but how are I'll, I'll probably try it on playstation at some point how but... are the umpires in that are oh, they the calling umpires, them, are, are they pretty... calling the strikes yeah, that they, are straight. Do they ever make strikes? mistakes to make it more realistic, or are they <laughs> straight robot umps? No, they're robot umps in the game. Robot umps. Well, that brings they, me. They gotta be. That brings me to. We all know what that sound means, or what this jingle is. It's time for the buzz question of the week. It's buzz question of the week time, which is when I ask the other house a question, and then they answer the question, and then they don't explain why their answer is uh, correct, and then we don't talk about it. We just uh, we just move on. They just they just answer the question to their best abilities and their best knowledge, and uh, and then we move on, right? So the floods question of the week is, now that you've played MLB, the show on the Switch, and you've mm. seen how robot ups are in real life, do you think that Major League Baseball should replace umpires with robot umps? Splinter. Absolutely. Jamez? I was going to sound a little esoteric to most of our listeners, but I'm going to go with 72 is the new 69. And that was Fuzz Question of the Week. Oh, that was, that was a good Fuzz Question of the Week this week. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, um. <laughs> Got some soccer news for you. Right? You were talking about F Fila? Oh, dude, I read that. That article, I right? read that article. It was like people in Liverpool, and the article is like starting off and taking, saying people were standing in lines for hours trying to get in, you know. There's like some security issues, maybe some right? Maybe security bottlenecking the issue or something, and then all of a sudden it's like, and then the police use tear gas. I'm like, whoa. Oh, wait, oh yeah. What? <laughs> so you're saying that the police It was not an innocent thing. I was taken aback. I was shocked. Uh, soccer fans are a little different. <laughs> yeah. They get, they get uh, pretty rambunctious sometimes. Okay, so Hooligans, then, they say. No, 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 no. We're not calling people names. Um, uh, it's a, all no, right. no. Um, what if? What if? What if? What was that what if thing? So, I don't know how... Did the situation just seem to just escalate from uh unruly crowd or... Did you guys know anything more about that? No, I like, just, I just I, saw that the uh, the I saw a, a picture of of the area that was left and it, it was just how much beer and stuff was left around. And so they'd had a huge party in this this park before they go into the game, as you will, and your tailgate really or whatever. Well, those cops to be doing that. Well, whoever, but then they went in to go into the game and. They probably tried to rush the wrong 
area or going through the wrong gate and and the police said no and they were probably having trouble with them let's move on okay yes uh aew uh just got done with its uh double or nothing right yeah. that, was that the pay-per-view that just, that just yes. happened what? the other day double or Last nothing night. um it was a it was a jam packed pay per view. It was it was uh it was main card event with another main card event, another main card event. It was jam packed with main card. Is that what you call it? it? Main seemed, card events. It just seemed Is like a series of main, main events. events. Main events. It was just a series yeah. of main events for three hours, I believe. It went all the way to right mid- out of the gate. Right out of the gate. It was great. Yep. Uh, I don't really want to get into much spoilers with it, but uh, it was it was really good. They had um, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> uh, they had some title matches. There's a lot of title matches. A lot of title matches. A lot of titles that changed, and a lot of titles that did not change. Uh, some that we expected to change, and some that we didn't expect to change. And then there was any anarchy. In the stadium. No, this was the hell, hell bro. That's boys. not what it was called. Anarchy, Anarchy in the in arena. The arena. In the arena. A yes. little, that's an alliteration, it was, right? It is was that, not stadium stampede. Smart Andy, is that an alliteration? Yes, it is. Uh, Absolutely. So, yeah, you need to watch Anarchy in the arena. Uh, it was chaos. It was absolute chaos. It, 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 Let's give a little bit of uh, context here. At least we, we could say that this was a five-on-five five, uh-huh. uh, match that just like took place anywhere and everywhere in the arena. It started outside of the ring. It, it started... didn't even make it to the ring for there's hardly any for hardly a very long time. Intention. There was no intention of going to the ring. It was wild. Yeah, they played. So I just want to say they, they. So one thing I I'm gonna say is that they they played the music. For Moxley, the wild thing, from when he started coming down the ramp, you know, when he first showed up, right? Yeah. And then it took him about five minutes to get to the ring, and they played the song over and over and over very loud until somebody, like, stopped it. It was it was playing for a long time, and it was loud, and it was wild, and it was wild. It was, it was wild. It was, you so, need to check it out. One other thing we can say is that all the matches on the card did occur. They did. I saw them. That, all the matches. Everyone, everyone, you know, was there when their music played. So that was it. Very important. There was some, some real frightening moments the night before that that somebody was was flying out. Okay, so like, uh, so what? We we can talk about that because that's all public knowledge. You know, uh, MJF the night before decided that he wasn't going to do a meet and greet before the show and there was re- a meet and greet and right. there was reports of him getting on uh booking a plane flight somewhere and he didn't get on a plane flight so at the beginning of the entire pay-per-view uh you're not sure if he's going to actually show up because he want the rumor is that he wants more money um do you think that was all part of I think it's all script. I think it's all kayfabe. I, yeah, I okay. absolutely so, think. I absolutely think word. so because it's 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 it it goes right into what type of character the character MJF is, where he's no. all about money, all about himself. And when something like this happens, why would he? You know. Why would he not be angry about the match that's coming up with Wardlow? You know, like, why would he not try to get out of it somehow? Why would he not be asking for more money if he's not MJF? Like, well, well, what? Well, my question is, what would he do if if, it, but if you, he wouldn't like, get what else would he be doing? You know, like, what else yeah, would right. he be doing? If yeah. if it was anybody else, maybe you'd believe it. But the, you got to remind yourself, it's MJF. Mm-hmm. This is what he does. That's him. That's how he does it. He does things like this. Right, it's, a, it's just totally in character. That's that's the way I that's the way I look at it. Yep. Anyway, yeah. A few other non-spoilers. Thunder Rosa's gear was awesome. 
and and she had a, a tribute to you all day and and was donating the proceeds from the sale of her gear which was awesome that was really cool uh yeah that was that was the best net match of the night in my opinion uh you know what was really strange is that and this is i don't think this is a spoiler uh, is the crowd uh at the hangman adam page cm punk match at the end of the night right yeah the crowd it was a really weird crowd it was a strange crowd like they were booing and cheering both wrestlers yeah right is that how it's, it went? yeah yeah to to both popular wrestlers neither of them are a heel so Splinter's uh, what do you, thought what do you was do? that the, the, the crowd was too tired at the end of the night, so they were just booing everybody. Is that well, how yeah, you thought was? Well, you got to get there at 6 o'clock for the pre-show, right? And they were there till midnight. That's yeah. a six-hour show. And I think by the end of that, all they had left was negative energy. <laughs> they just started booing. No, I think, I think James is... More in tune with what, what what was going on is that you have two popular wrestlers and people didn't know how to react to two popular good guy wrestlers and, and then also the getting show, tired. People didn't they wanted to know. show who they who they were there for and and yeah. and wanted to show that they didn't want the other guy to win as much as as, as the other thing because that was a that lot too. of what Hangman's thing was was he was protecting the belt from from CM Punk and that's what's going to be interesting to see how. CM Punk reacts to having the belt now and how Hangman Page reacts to having the belt now. Because or not having the belt now. Because, you know, Hangman lost. And he he almost well, I just spoiled all this stuff, right? We weren't spoiling anything. But uh it'll, it'll be interesting to see what the fallout is. It it they I, I believe that this this pay-per-view set up a lot of fallout for dynamite and future shows coming up i, th- I think it was a very yeah. good setup for the very be for the beginning fun. of the new aew season it'll be great yeah. some right. fun story coming up i had a question what's that is that during one of the events was a three-way tag match where's that sound that's splinter i just muted oh, okay what keep going? <laughs> no, a three-way tag match. So you have two versus two versus two, but only one person. Uh, only two people can be in the ring or legal man, right? Mm-hmm. So at one point, there's always an entire team, an entire tag team that's just not in the match. Right. Right. And this, I don't know, this just sounds like it doesn't make any sense to me in a, as a match. And it, you get a lot of people I'm, tagging other people's backs and, and forcing their way into the match. It, it gets really weird. Well, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's kind of confusing, it, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a really it's good fun. way story wise. It's a really good way story wise to protect a team that's supposed to be really good without them having to actually take a pin. Yeah. Yeah. Or make you think that they're gonna lose. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's, it's, and it's just really interesting that way. Um, I, I think I, the I, dynamics I, just seem like so counterintuitive to be like, I'm gonna attack this guy who's just beating up this other guy that I'm supposed to be fighting against. There's two people fighting each other. Why well, do I want to stop them? Well, it's uh, weird too. <laughs> that, was, that was the rivalry was well, between yeah. those two teams and not the champions. Well, it has a lot yeah. of dynamics to what you can't be in any, almost any corner. You, you have to stay in the middle of the ring unless if you're going to tag your own partner back in, otherwise somebody else will take, take themselves in. Um, yeah. And so it's, it, it makes the ring dynamics so much more com- uh, com- uh, complex. Um, yeah. And then yeah, at any point, somebody, anybody can break up the pin. So it makes yeah, it yeah. really, really, really complicated for the wrestlers to win that match as well. Um, yeah. I don't know. I still, I still eat it up. And like when, when stuff doesn't make sense, like it's yeah. just, I don't know. Yeah, I still find it really entertaining, and it makes it funny to me. And 
like I said, dude, I'll 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 eat up I'll eat that up all the time. Oh wait, how does this song go again? Oh yeah, memory. It is fuzzy memory trivia time. This is when I ask the Hess questions, and then they answer. What is that sound now? Oh, that was this. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> this is when I ask questions and then uh, answer other questions, and then no, what? I ask. We an- I, point for that. We get points. We get into the issues. Does James does James get a point for that? No. But you asked what sound that was. Yeah. Do do we do we remember what the score was? We were going back to zero zero. We're going back to zero zero. Okay. Zero That's zero. What you said. Uh yeah. and then this is just shout out the answer. No buzz ins, no taking turns, just say the say the answer, okay? Canucks okay. winger Chris Higgins attended what Ivy League school before joining the NHL? Dartmouth. Duke. Yale. Who was the first team to reach 100 losses in the MLB in 2018? Orioles. Correct. What was the Cincinnati Reds' original nickname? Red Sox. Red Stockings. Which of these American League teams clinched a 2018 playoff berth first? The Yankees. Angels. Red Sox. (laughs) Who was the MVP of the 1991 Atlanta Braves-Minnesota Twins World Series? Kirby Kirby Puckett. Jack Morris. Who is the, (laughs) the baseball player nicknamed the Big Donkey? Adam Dunn. Ron Karkovice. Singer Taylor Swift appeared in a commercial proclaiming her fandom for which team? The Dodgers. New York Yankees. Nashville Predators. Who did announcer Johnny Most shriek? Blank steals the ball. Bird. John Havlick. Who was the... What? Ranked number one in the world in both singles and doubles tennis in the early 1980s. Billie Jean King. John Martina Navratilova. John McEnroe. Which basketball player's team means Little Warrior? It's the Cavaliers. Shaquille Uh. Rashan O'Neal. Which brings me to... Uh, the Mr. O'Neill, I'm, I'm Shaquille O'Neal, Mr. O'Neal, right? Mr. Keel O'Neal. Shaquille. Yes. Shaq, if you will. Uh, earlier in the episode, I had alluded to if something was a sport or not. And he was asked if he thinks that esports players are athletes. And this was his response. Would you consider pro esports players to also be athletes? I do. And I want to commend you guys, and I'm proud of you guys. Athlete means different thing. But athlete means here. Like, I did a show, it was called Shaq Versus. When I went to a race with Dale Earnhardt, that was the hardest shit I've ever done in my life. I'm sitting. I'm sitting in the car. And we were out there, bro. My body was so sore. I was like, God damn. When I went to swim against Michael Phelps, 15% of the game is physical and all that. Everything else is mental. So the, the, the things that you guys go through, that's why you guys don't really have a long life show. I think it's, what, three to five, five to six years. You know, same thing with uh, NBA, you know, NFL. So, yes, you guys are athletes. If you guys say you're athletes, I believe you because I can't do what you do. So that's uh, Shaq's thoughts on if video game players are athletes or not. Not right. what I expected. Good for Shaq. At the 2018 NBA All-Star Game, who was the head coach of Team LeBron? Bill Jackson. Dwayne Casey. Who was the 1989 slam dunk champion who went by the nickname of Sky? Dominique Wilkins. Terry. Kenny Walker. In February 2014, who became the first Chinese tennis player ever to rise to number one in the... Michael Chang. Peng Sui. Uh, the 2014 head coach of which hockey team is Ken Hitchcock? 
So blues. Correct. Who was the fourteen to zero as who was fourteen to zero as the Pittsburgh starting quarterback in two thousand four? Ben Roethlisberger. Correct. Triggers. Who is featured on the cover of the Konami video game Pro Evolution Soccer 2011? Pele. Ronaldo. Lionel Macy. Who won the 2016 NBA Slam Dunk Contest? Zach Levine. Who was the, oh, dang it. Who was the first gymnast to score a perfect 10 on the balance beam at the Olympics? Simone Biles. Nadia Comaneci. Correct. What is the Redskins theme song? Oh, I don't know. Oh, gross. That's a gross question. Hail to the Redskins. What is the name of the Major League Soccer Club that is based in Colorado? The Fever. The Rapids. Who was the Dallas Tornadoes' first round soccer draft pick in 1973? Kyle Rote Jr. Before the 2013 season, the Dolphins acquired Philip Wheeler from which team? Browns. Jaguars. Oakland Raiders. Which NBA player got the most votes for the 2016 NBA All-Star Game? Zach Levine. Kobe Bryant. And that was... Oh, wait. How does this song go again? Oh, yeah. Memories. Trivia. 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 That was a buzzy memory trivia. And that brings us to... Oh, that's what that sound is. It's, it's, it's the sound. That's what it is. I need to cut that off. <laughs> You're doing it the whole time. I was doing it the whole time. I muted Splinter oh. and everything. The call is coming from inside the house. Could have been anybody. Could have been anybody. Um, that brings us to the end of the episode. Uh, wow, that went very fast, guys. Good job. We was it here. an hour like it usually is? Yeah. We're here. It's 11.30 almost already. Oh, we've turned another hour. The Bed sands time. of time. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's that's pretty deep there, Splinter. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you got going on the, the rest of the week, Splinter? What do you got? What, what's happening? What's the, what? You don't need to say the real stuff. You can make things up. Uh, I'd like to tour the rings of Saturn. Oh, did you see there was a, a planet somewhere with way bigger and more rings than Saturn? I want to go what there. What are you talking about? What planets? What you said? You said it didn't have to be my real plans. No, but what are you talking about? Saturn has there's a planet nope. that has bigger rings than Saturn. Yeah, they found a picture of some some one somewhere that's just massive. What's this name? big? Oh. I don't know. It's probably like Alpha X. Why something? It'll probably, have a name. Probably. Oh well. Uh, safe travels. Have fun. Thank oh, you. Cool. Um, I'll find it. I'll, I'll send you pictures and postcards. I'm sure there's a stand. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, Jamez, what do you got oh, going bro. on this? What do you got going on this week? Oh man, looking forward to uh, you know tenth day of quarantine and uh, you know gonna be taking some tests. To make sure I got a couple negative tests. Before getting back to the rest of the life, you know. Yeah, well, rest of the life. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm just gonna be hanging out online a lot. Oh, I forgot. Did you guys have anything else we needed to talk about before we wrap it up? Oh, you know. No, I'm okay. okay. That uh, uh, that anarchy in the arena was a really cool match. Yeah, it was a lot of chaos. You know, dude. Uh, you know what I I appreciated about that one? What? I said I said this to you last night. I think after watching, but like there was a lot of hardcore wrestlers involved in that. I mean, you had Moxley and Brian Danielson, and um, you know they, they everyone came wearing white, so you know they're going to start bleeding. And um, so it's like a hardcore match. Yeah. But there's so many elements of like comedy in there too. It was like yeah. the first time I'd seen a hardcore match kind of be a comedy match at the same time. It was. Oh yeah, that's. They did a good I job. Love Fantastic hardcore match. Eddie <laughs> Kingston looked crazed. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you need to. Yeah. You guys need it was to. It's terrifying. See it. If you haven't seen it, look it up. Check it out. Yeah, that's a fun one. This Fuzzy. Is, yeah. 
Dude, we can't go until you say stuff that is about you. Now you better do it. That sounds a little ego, ego <laughs> driven there. Uh, I will be doing some fuzzy stuff this next week, uh, getting prepared for the next episode to make sure that the next episode is just as good, if not better than this episode. Um, I want to say thank you for Hestandy for being here. Oh, dude. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, also, no problem, uh, thank you, Hest James, for being here. Appreciate oh, yeah. it as well. And uh, thank you, Hest Fuzzy, for being here as well. And that is the end of this episode. Ha <laughs> ha! As long as you just can, just squeeze them, squeeze, 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 and that will build up your forearms, build up your fingers, and that will allow you to have better grip.